Marlena Dietrich was born Maria Magdalene Dietrich on the 27th of December 1901 in Berlin, Germany. She was an actress known for playing rather femme fatale roles and experimenting with feminism. Recognise her name? Well, if you are a RuPaul's Drag Race fan, you may remember that Sasha Valor chose her as her celebrity impersonation on Season 9 Snatch Game. If not, but you are curious as to who she is, well keep watching to find out. Marlena grew up studying languages and music in hopes of becoming a professional violinist. But in her late teens, she started to attend a drama school despite failing the audition landing small parts on stage and film. As a result of a wrist injury, she started to look more towards acting and gave up on music. She was the youngest daughter of Wilhelmina Elizabeth Josephine and Louis Eric Otto Dietrich. Unfortunately, when she was just six years old, her father died. Her mother remarried to a lieutenant of the name Edward von Losch. She soon combined her first and last name to make Marlena and had her first job as a violinist in 1922. When she attended Max Reinhardt's drama school, she worked mainly as a chorus girl in many of his productions. In 1923, she made her film debut in The Little Napoleon. Major stage shows she participated in include A Midsummer's Night Dream and Back to Methuselah. Marlena's first leading role was in The Woman One Longs For in 1929. However, her breakthrough role was in her first sound role as Lola Lola in The Blue Angel. After this, she made her first American debut in the Paramount Pictures film Morocco in 1930. Nazi Germany was on the rise and tried to essentially bribe Marlena to return to Germany, which she refused. As a result, she took a major part in propaganda during World War II, trying to keep the morale up of the American soldiers. She also participated in the morale operations Black Radio by producing music to make Nazi propaganda less effective. Along with Bing Crosby and other American singers, she recorded a song to be played on a radio called Soldatensender, which means Soldier's Radio. Marlena's song Lily Marlena was particularly popular the eins lily marley the eins lily marley which was eventually banned by nazi germany however the soldiers loved it so much they demanded it to be played and so the nazi government relented marlena was awarded the presidential medal of freedom which is one of the highest civilian awards in the united states when asked why she did it she simply replied it was the decent thing to do. In terms of her personal life, she married once to a director, Rudolf Sieber, and together they had a daughter, Maria Elizabeth. Despite this, she had a string of affairs with actors such as Gary Cooper and James Stewart. She also had a decade-long affair with Yul Brynner and claimed to have been with John F. Kennedy and John Wayne. Marlena was a woman ahead of her time, breaking the barriers of gender norms in her appearance and behaviour. Her daughter revealed that Marlena used sex as a weapon in her affairs of, as a way of controlling men. The Huffington Post argues her to be queer as she did not restrict herself to one gender, but as the article puts it, to call her bisexual would also not tell the whole story. With women, Marlena enjoyed the sex more and found the relationships more satisfying. After the war, Marlena slowly retired from the screen and started to appear in cabaret shows again. Touring the world, she became the highest paid entertainer. However, growing older, she struggled to keep the same beauty and she started to become mean and demanding. Her final substantial film was in 1961 and was called Judgment at Nuremberg about the Nuremberg trials against the Nazis after World War II. Her last ever appearance on film was in 1975 in Just a Gigolo alongside David Bowie. She then withdrew to her apartment in Paris and spent her last years bedridden. She was an alcoholic and dependent on painkillers. In 1982, a documentary was made about her, directed by Maximilian Schell, who had starred alongside her in Judgment at Nuremberg. However, she refused to be filmed and so it was mostly clips of her career. 
Letters she wrote, found ten years after her death, revealed how she had sunk low and longed for her death. She sorely missed her husband, who had died in the 70s. Marlena Dietrich died on May 7, 1992, in Paris due to renal failure at age 90, and was buried at a Roman Catholic church, La Madeleine. She made a great impact on cinema in the 20th century, and books and essays are still being written about her to this day. Much of my generation may not know who she is, unless you watch Drag Race. So I hope this video gives you some insight and has inspired many of you. She truly was an icon.